Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today I'm going to be covering or just going over, it's going to be a little FYI video really, um, my favorite diagnostic tool or my most useful, helpful diagnostic tool in all time, I guess, really. Uh, and that really is my Power Probe 1. This is actually a Power Probe 2, but my Power Probe. Um, super simple, easy to use, and really, I love this thing. It helps me do so much so quick. Uh, checking if a circuit has power or ground, uh, really to follow or chase an electrical problem. Uh, like if, you, if your headlight isn't good or isn't uh, uh, illuminating properly, you could check and make sure that the plug has power or ground with this. Uh, you could also give that circuit power or ground if you felt like it, that would change the outcome. Uh, but you can fry shit doing that too. So uh, real simple, easy. I've never fried anything using this thing. I love it. I use it a lot. Let me just show you how it works real fast. I wish they paid me to do this, but I really like it so much and a lot of people ask me how I do my diagnostics or what I use the most, so that's why I am doing this video. You will find a link in the description on where you could purchase this one and a Power Probe 3 as well too, so make sure you check that out and I do get a percentage of it too, so help me out. <laughs> Remember to like, subscribe, and share while you are watching. Thanks for watching. I'd really like a Power Probe 3. Those show the voltage on a little screen on it. They're really cool. Much cooler. Um, Need power and ground. This thing get used. It's like ten years old at least. You have a little uh, light that comes on, so you could see what you're doing or which uh, connection you're probing. When you hit power, you get a red light and that sound. When you get ground, you get a green, yellowish light and that sound. So I could check anything, say, not anything, but say your fan's bad. Okay, let's see if you're getting power and ground to right here. We have ground. You're not going to have power till the computer sends it, but you would be able to check for power right here at that time if your fan's not turning on. You could also go through here and check for continuity. This is a ground. If you connect the ground... To one prong and touch the other prong you know you have continuity going through there if you have no continuity your motor's bad let's say you want to check your evap uh, solenoid right here Do it with the car on. You could take it off. Maybe. Why is everything so hard to take off on this damn car? Take it off and see if you have power and ground. So you have power. Nothing on the other side, but that probably just completes it, but you know you have power coming to it, or going to it. Check fuses. Check fuses by just touching them. You know you have continuity going through. That's a spare. So power and power. If you found one that had power and ground, you know you have a bad fuse. So it's another real easy, fast way to check fuses. Really with the power probe, you could do a lot of easy diagnosing on electrical systems real fast. Um, it was one of my first diagnostic tools, still use it to this day, and I probably use it on damn near every diagnosis I do. That's electrical, so hopefully this helps you out on choosing a diagnostic aid tool or something. So. Like, subscribe, and share, and hopefully I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video.